So how, if I'm not clocked in, I can't clock out for lunch. I'm not clocked in. Like y'all so, oh. Guys, welcome back to my channel. I know, I know, I've been, I haven't posted in like a week. I know, I was, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. But y'all know, like, it's been like a stressful week. Um, please stay, please stay, please. Okay, it's been like a little stressful week. Um, not really stressful, but we was just getting stuff ready because, um. Jay's sister Jazz graduated. She got her master's. Yeah. Yeah, we're proud of her. We're proud of her. So, yeah, we went to her graduation. We was getting stuff prepared all week for her graduation. Um, her presents and stuff like that. And then yesterday um, was graduation day. So, you know, stressful and stuff like that. But overall, I had a very good time um, with her. I am so proud of her. Um, and yeah, Jay's graduating next week, next Saturday. Um, so yeah, I already got her present and yeah, that was basically it. Um, there's a lot of stuff that I wanted to do with y'all, but you know, I just have it. Um, I don't know. I don't know why this week was more like, I guess this was more of my like resting week because y'all know I've been like working and stuff like that. So I guess this is, ain't going to school. So I guess this was, well, I haven't worked. So y'all know I was working. I'm not working right now because y'all know that stuff. Yeah. But yeah, so I haven't been working, but I've been, I guess for all them times, my body's been trying to catch up on rest and stuff like that. And so, yeah. So I just turned in my first assignment for school. I'm so excited. It was supposed to be a visual. It was supposed to be like a video between five and seven minutes. I ended up doing almost 10 minutes, <laughs> but I just submitted it like that. But, you know, I had a lot to say. Um, it was more like an introduction video, but it was like I was talking about like what led me to social work, why I wanted to be a social worker. Then I did like those that took a majority of the time then at the end i had to kind of like i had to rush the questions that he had asked um he or she i don't even know if it's a he or she honestly i don't know i think it's a male but i don't know i i can't I, yeah um so yeah so i will show y'all some pictures of like yesterday and stuff because she looked really like jazz look, ooh, Jazz looked really pretty. She looked it. She was late to the gods. Purr. So she looked really pretty. But I don't have her permission to post any of like anything. So I'm not going to do that. But let's just, I'm going to just say she looked very beautiful. And I'm very proud of her. I'm very, very proud of her. Um, Yeah, we're going to have some fun this summer. Let's hope I can get a damn job though. Unless y'all going to help me get paid on YouTube. Exactly. But yeah, y'all. Um, let me see. Dang, I will show y'all what I wore yesterday. But Jay and I think her they still sleeping. Cause they took pictures of me yesterday, but I don't have the picture because they sent it to me, so I can't show y'all. I might show y'all in the next video because your girl was your girl was cute. I have a makeup done. I had my classy heels on. Yeah, your girl was your girl was pretty. She was pretty. Um, I have my hair like it is now, like in a ponytail, and these two there. Yeah, so it was very cute. It was very interesting. Um, it was a good day. Uh, this video is not really going to be long because I don't really have anything to do. Um, but yeah. Um, so Brownie went home yesterday. She went with her mommy. And y'all, I have to clean up my room. I have shit everywhere. Stuff everywhere. Oh my gosh, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. 
happy Mother's Day to the people who wanted to, be, well, not really meant to be a mother, but are doing the best that they can for their kids. Shout out to y'all, because we love y'all. We love to see it. Okay? But yeah, like I was saying, um, I didn't clean up my room. I don't really need to clean it up because it's just clothes. Like, it's clothes I pulled out of my drawer, so I'm just going to put them back in there. And then I'm going to put these boxes in my closet. I'm going to fix my closet and put the clothes that's supposed to be in the basket in the basket. <laughs> but I'm going to do that later because I don't feel like doing it right now. I'm so, I'm so like, tired from yesterday. Yesterday, like, this morning. This morning, I stretched and I caught a cramp, y'all. Oh, how, oh my gosh. It's, like, the worst thing ever is to catch a cramp when you stretch it in bed. Girl, can't do it. But, um, yeah, so, like, we got a lot of food. Um, they had, like, this little after party for her graduation. So, we have, like, a lot of food here. Like, we got a lot of food. Like, and it's funny because I didn't know we was going to have that much food. And I, my mom and them, I asked my mom to bring me some food yesterday. And we all was like, please, like, please bring some food. And I'm going to end up bringing some food. She made some lasagna and some deviled eggs. And they really want them deviled eggs. They been, they been bugging me about it. For a long time. Ever since they had it, they were bugging me about the damn eggs. So, yeah. So, now we got, like, hella food. That's so good, because who cooking? <sighs> Not to me. Purr. And my dad was all you was baking. Purr. So, yeah. I've just been having, like, a good time. I have, like, I've been surrounded by good energy. So, I like that. I like that. I like that. Um... I was stressing over stuff, but honestly, I can't change it. I can't change it. Like, if it's supposed to happen, it's going to happen. If it's not, it's not. Whatever. That's just that. Just saying. But, like, yeah, hopefully things work out for the best. Hopefully I get a job before the end of this month because I have to pay next month rent. So, I need a job before the end. Um, I have to apply. I need to apply for these, like, work-at-home jobs. I've been applying to a lot um, and stuff like that. Um, tomorrow I'm going to call back this place that's down the street. Y'all, it's this place down the street that I want to work at. Like, they get, they got good pay. They got good, it's Monday through Friday. You don't work weekends. And you work, like, 8 to 5. Like, that is a good job. Especially from what I was looking for. Like, like, that's a good job. And it's only four minutes from my house. Like, bro, bro, you do it. Like, and so I'm going to call them tomorrow. Because um, they were supposed to be setting up an interview with me, but they never got back to me. So, I called, and then they was like, okay, we're going to call you Friday or more Monday uh, to schedule an interview. And I was like, okay. So, yeah. Let's hopefully that works out for the best. Um, <clears throat> sorry, I'm on my laptop, y'all. I'm trying to find this thing that I was looking to apply to. Cause it's a work at home job and I really want to work at home job, but I don't mind working somewhere as long as like it's good and stuff. It has good hours and stuff like that. But I'm not honestly right now. I'm not even being picky. Like if I get the job, I get the job. If I don't get the job, I don't get the job. Like not even being picky. Just give me a damn job at this point. I just want, I just want pay that's better than I either want to equal or better than how I had it at, you know, Macy's. But Macy's rolls they thing, so. Yeah. But I don't know if I'm going. I don't know if I want to go back to them. Because they, you know. Macy's a little. They just be doing too much. But, yeah. Um. Y'all. Let me tell y'all. So. One, uh, one of the days at, um. at what was I one of the days okay so when i was working at macy's one of the days it was like a third it was thursday i remember because i had an interview that day for um uh, the job so i clocked in that morning at eight i remember because i did it but then when i went to clock out for lunch it said i wasn't clocked in so i contacted the managers 
that day and told them that it didn't put my time in and I was there. They didn't put my time in. Um, so I've been kind con- I was contacting them every day, um, uh, for like five, six days straight for them to put my time in or like, you know, it was like five days, five days straight for them to put my time in. I even had my HR person that I had the case against them with to contact them to tell them to put my time in. She contacted the store manager twice, twice, and they still never put my time in. So I never got paid for that day, right? So then this, um, she was like, okay, I told them they supposed to be correcting it and stuff like that. I was like, okay, okay. So then let me show, I'm, I'm about to read the messages because I don't give a fuck because I don't work there. No more. So I, I looked at my pay slip on Monday, um, no, on Wednesday, this past Wednesday, and I realized they still didn't put my time in because I didn't get paid for it. So, <clears throat> I contacted my HR lady. No, I texted my old manager, and I said, hello, I still have not gotten paid for the 28th. Mind you, I didn't mean the 28th because the 28th was the day after I left. I mean, a couple days after I left, so I was already terminated. Not terminated, but I wasn't in the system no more. <clears throat> I meant the 22nd. So she was like, hey, so HR has to put it in. I'm not able to because you are an employee anymore. It won't let me. So y'all, that right there automatically pissed me off because I've been telling her and I told another manager about my time not being in the system and they never put it in. You know how many times she done told me from that day that she was going to put my time in, but she never did. And y'all wonder why I want to be, I left that establishment because the people that they have there in manager positions don't know how to do their jobs at all. Like, why are you a manager? If I'm coming to you and telling you that there's a problem with my time and you don't do it, that just makes me mad. Like, what's the point of you being in your position if you're not going to do your job? So that just automatically made me mad because she was like, hey, I'm not able to put it in anymore because you're not an employee. But when I was an employee, you still didn't put it in. So what was your excuse for that? Like, so then I said, well, I contacted since that Thursday. I meant to say contacted you since that Thursday, but whatever. Since that Thursday that my hours wasn't put in, you never did. And I even had the HR contact twice to put my time in last week she said yeah oh i meant to blur her name out she said yeah told me last week i tried but because you aren't an employee anymore it will not let me it will not let me hr has to be the one to put it in hr terminated you on the 25th you contacted us after that and it wouldn't let me put it in because your employee id isn't even active after they put in your termination you're lying you're freaking lying because i did not contact y'all after that i contacted you the same day that um this is gonna be a story time okay i contacted her the same day that i my time wasn't in literally like let me show y'all well i can't really show y'all because i don't have permission for her to post these so i'm not about to get sued for nothing but i'm about to tell y'all like Thursday, April 21st, 3.49 p.m. I was still at work because that's when they start making us work 8 to 5. So, I said, hey, so I clocked in this morning, but when I went to lunch, it said that I wasn't clocked in. She said, hey, I'll check it. What time did you get in? I said, 8. She said, okay. With the, this, I said, okay, thank you. She said, you're welcome. Did you want to work your last day? Yeah. So, that was that. Um, Let me see. So then the next time that I told her or texted her about like um after that cuz I took like I was like okay Thursday and then she said she was going to do it and then let me see I had that weekend off so the next time that I texted her it was like um Monday April 25th but Sunday 
I texted another manager and told him that, hey, like my time isn't in. Can you put it in and stuff like that? He was like, he didn't know how to do it. So I was like, he, but he said he was going to look out for it or something, something like that. Obviously he didn't. So I text, I said, um, on the 25th, this is the day, my last day, but I went home early cause I wasn't feeling good. So I said on my reliability is saying I have an unexcused absence for last Thursday, meaning that she still didn't put my time in. Okay. And so then that's when I texted her this past Wednesday and told her I still didn't get, um, like I still haven't gotten paid. So like I had two managers, I talked to two managers, you and another manager told you about my time. I had HR contact the store manager and tell her about my time twice so that means four times people have me and somebody else told y'all to put my time in and y'all still didn't do it what is your why what is your point like why are you a manager that don't even make freaking sense bro like it don't make no sense and so after she said hey hr she was like hr terminated you on the 25th you contacted us after that that's a lie because i contacted her on thursday i contacted another manager on sunday i contacted you again on monday and then i had over the weekend no throughout the week of my termination i had hr contact y'all twice and y'all still didn't do it so then she was like, and it wouldn't let me put it in because your employee ID isn't even active after they put in your termination. They put in my termination on Monday. You had Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. That's four days. And you did not put in my time. So I said, I told you Thursday, it was the 22nd at the 28th that my time wasn't put in and you said that you would look at it and you never put my time in that was before the 25th never responded after that never responded because she knows she knows she was wrong she knows she was wrong she knew like you not responded because you knew i was i was right yeah so then let me tell you what the hr lady said because she she low-key made me mad so I said to her, this was April 26th. This is the day after my termination. I said, hello, I contacted my people leader slash manager since last Thursday because on my reliability, it says I have an unexcused absence for last Thursday, but I was there. I thought I had clocked in, but I did it. And now since I'm a former employee, it won't let me see my time cord nor my pay slip for this week. And I need to see if I'm going to get paid for Thursday. I worked over 33 hours last week. Remember, because I asked him to cut my hours. So she did. So she said, <clears throat> this is the HR lady. She said, I sent a note to the store manager to ensure your time is corrected. This is the 26th. So the day after I've been, I've been like talking to him off and on for four days, four or five days on the so the 25th was when I like that they never like yeah so then I contacted her she said she sent a note to the store manager to ensure that my time is corrected and mind y'all they have until Sunday at 12 p.m. to submit my time so that way I get paid for it I think it's that I think it's something like that so then I was asking about is there any way I can see my pay slip, stuff like that, and stuff like that. So I said, hello, I got in, I saw my pay slip, and I still didn't, and they did not put my time in for last Thursday. And then she was like, I sent the notification to the store manager asking for the correction to be completed. Okay. That was the 27th. So this is the, so listen, this is the day at, so this literally, the 25th was the day I was terminated. I was like out the system, cleaned out. The tw I was still talking about my time, so yeah. Then I had the twenty sixth. I had her contact them. They still didn't put it in. Contacted her the twenty seventh again. So she said she sent a notification. Okay. And then May fourth, this passing week, I said, "Hello, I was contacting because I still have not gotten paid." For Thursday, April 22nd, and I contact my former people leader, and she said that HR has to put it in on 
has to put it in now since I'm no longer an employee, even though I contacted her, right? This story about over. I just wanted to show y'all how shitty this fucking store is. So then she was like, hey, um, can you please confirm the date you submitted a correction for? You have indicated. Because I kept saying the 28th because I had my week off, but it was the 22nd. She was like, you have indicated two different dates, so can you please... Because she was like, you have no clockings for the 22nd nor the 28th. Duh, I know that. Because I contacted her and said that I was not clocked in. Like, what are y'all not getting? So I said, it was the 22nd. I clocked in at 8 a.m. And when I went to clock out for lunch, it said I wasn't clocked in. So I contacted her the same day and told her about the issue, but she never fixed it. So then she was like, why didn't you clock in and out for lunch and then clock out when you went home? Are y'all people listening to me? Like, y'all are not listening to me. Y'all, I don't get what is going on in y'all heads, but y'all are not listening to me. I literally said, so I was just like, okay, because it didn't take my clocking when I decided, um, when, no, when I clocked in. So I couldn't clock out for lunch and I couldn't clock out to leave. If I could, I would have did that. Like I literally said, when I went to clock in, when I went to clock out for lunch, it said I wasn't clocked in. Like what did you not understand? Like not even you are making sense. So why didn't you clock in and out for lunch and then clock out for Like I literally said I could not when I went to clock out for lunch. I couldn't because it said I wasn't clocked in. So how if I'm not clocked in, I can't clock out for lunch. I'm not clocked in. Like y'all so Oh, y'all are so dumb. So then she was like, I'll reach out to your people leader to confirm and ask them again to correct. Confirm what? Like y'all oh. I said, I already asked her today and she told me she couldn't do it and for me to contact HR and I have to message and I have the message. Did you want, would you like to see them? Because she made it confirm. What do you mean confirm? I can show you your HR. Like, I don't get it. And so she was like, I just emailed her with the instructions on what is needed to correct it. She will be responsible for submitting your request. That was the end of that. That was the end of that conversation. Because she just, like, literally. And then, like, after she emailed me um, back, I never responded. Because she, I was so pissed off. Because why, like, why you, you literally made no sense. Like, I literally told you everything clear as day. And you still couldn't understand it. And then she gonna tell me, oh, well, your people leader has submitted the request for, uh, for your pay. So that was May 5th. So it took them, it took them two weeks, two freaking weeks to put my pay in for that one fucking day, bro. Two weeks. Two weeks. And I contacted y'all the same day my clocking wasn't in. And you told me you was going to fix it. And then HR talk about some, well, why you didn't clock in and out for lunch and stuff like that. If I could, I would have. Like, y'all, that's why I'm so done with Macy's. Like, y'all HR team, you've been fucking stupid. Like, how, I said it clear as day. Like, how didn't you understand what the fuck I just said? Like, you literally asked the question, why I couldn't clock in and out for lunch and clock out to leave. If I'm not clocked in, in the fucking system, how the hell am I going to clock out? Please explain. How am I going to clock out for my meal if I wasn't even clocked fucking in? So, literally, when I went to clock out for lunch, it only had clock in or clock out. It didn't have, it wasn't nothing else for me to clock out for meal and none of that. So I just left it. And I contacted her the same day. And she still didn't do it. Like, I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand this fucking story, y'all. Like, I don't understand. But yeah, I'm about to end this video. I hope y'all enjoyed that I'm story. Sorry, but I was just like, that just made me mad all over again. Because they don't do their job. What's the point of being in your position if you can't do your job?
That's what I'm saying. Position be given to the wrong people. Like, it's so much people out here with potential, and y'all give them to the raggediest, lowest people who needs it. But I digress. But yeah, y'all, that's it in this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, your girl is out. Because this video just made me mad. Hey, y'all. So this is a couple days later. Um, Something I just wanted to mention. Um, The people leader slash manager who I was talking about, she, the HR lady, ended up giving her the instructions on how to complete it. So the whole time, she could have just put my time in. I don't know if she knew or I don't know if she just didn't want to do it. But, you know, I, this is the last time I'm talking about this situation. This is the last time I'm talking about this damn story. Because at the end of the day, it brings so much negativity to me that it doesn't make no sense. And I do not want to, you know, continue through that negativity of that store. I miss the people that I had the relationships with. I miss them so very much. But, like, thinking about me even just thinking about going back and working there just makes me sick to my stomach because the people there don't care about the employees. The people there don't do their job how they're supposed to. The people there throw their workload on the employees that's not even supposed to be in that section. section. And, you know, it's just kind of crazy what all the changes that's happening with um that store. But it's just too much for me. And I'm, even though, like, I'm going through a little hard time right now. But honestly, it's really not a hard time. Because, like, I left that establishment, what, two weeks ago? Or something like that. And I've been in a much, much better space, y'all. I've been in a much better place in my life. Like, even, like, I was scared about, you know, paying my rent and stuff like that. Because they wasn't, they was messing up my paychecks and stuff like that. So, but you know what? Some stuff came through to where I am able to pay the rest of my rent. Because, you know, they was threatening for eviction and stuff like that. And I have to pay it by the 16th. Or they was going to start the eviction process or whatever. But, you know, I'm just so grateful that stuff has happened to where, you know, it has been helping me. And I've been getting interviews back to back to back to back to back. Now, you're not going to get every interview. You're not going to get all the callbacks. You're not going to, like, you know, it's just, you know, stuff like that happens. So, I haven't really been stressing about it because when a job do come, it comes. Everybody in this world makes it seem like you have to have a job like fine just to be financially but number one thing is i understand that you need a job to live your life and pay your bills and stuff like that but at the end of the day if you don't take care of your mental and you um you know pass on if you know what i'm saying i won't say it because you know youtube but like if you you know pass on like those bills and stuff is not gonna matter you know like those bills and stuff is is gonna go to the next person who was willing to take whatever space or position you had you know so it's like i'd rather take care of my mental than try to be like i don't know it's just a lot and i'm glad things are working out for me um i did have my down times where i felt like it wasn't but you know I don't see me leaving Macy's as a mistake or anything because honestly it was the best best decision for me um honestly so yeah that's all I have to say well yeah y'all that's in this video and your girl's out bye